fucking game. Are you hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. Bro, pa kain ka naman. Hi, I'm Brother Soki, and I'm here today to make the ultimate chocolate pancakes. Sam and Paloy are here to help me out. Alright, uh, Sam, what do we do first? You have to pour everything inside the bowl. Alright, everything, but we start with the flour. The flour. Alright, so we start with the flour. You have to make sure when you start with the flour that you make a well in the middle. This helps you uh, mix the ingredients together. And you know what, starting from scratch is so much better than just doing it from instant mix that you get in the box. Scratch is always better for pancakes. After the flour, uh, we need melted butter. Paloy, could you work on the butter, please? Uh, after flour, what's next? You have to put in the salt and the sugar. All right, uh, we'll start with the salt. How much salt do we need? One tablespoon. One tablespoon. Work on the salt, please. And sugar. How much sugar do we need? One teaspoon. One teaspoon of sugar. All right. Put in the salt. Thank you. One teaspoon of sugar. Thanks, Paloy. That was quick. All right. Uh, and then kind of sift it together. Make sure they're all well mixed. And then we put in the milk. You have to be sure with the milk. Sometimes the milk gets sour. So yeah, make sure the milk is still okay. I need an egg. Uh, could one of you guys do the egg? Yeah, just crack the egg right in the middle. Alright, thank you. Alright, we have all the ingredients together now. We have to make sure you mix it well. Bro, and then it. Try it, go. Be my guest. You, you kind of have to use your wrist more because it's just like playing ultimate. It's playing ultimate, you really have to be flexible with it. So bro, when did you start with the milk? You know, I was thinking about it since I was in grade school. Because I had... Uh, I met a lot of brothers when I was studying in LaSalle Green Hills. And one thing I remember about the brothers when I was younger is that their food was always great. So I said, one day I'm gonna be like a brother and I'm gonna eat like the best food. And uh, maybe, yeah, because I was lucky enough to grow in a school with a lot of brothers, they gave uh, a good influence to me. Now, when you see the batter getting that way, it really needs more milk. Yeah. Pala, you tried mixing already? Yep. Yeah, so Sam seems to be better at mixing. I don't know why. Anyway. Okay. At around this point, when the batter is getting really, really soft, you can put in the melted butter. going to be a nice chocolate pancake and what's nice about it if you see the ingredients it's all simple stuff all you have is flour salt sugar baking powder chocolate chip and egg that's it all right uh, keep on mixing that and then you add the chocolate chip some people actually prefer to put in the pancakes and cook them first as a batter and then put the chocolate chip but being a practical guy, I like things simple, so I just put in the chocolate chip right away. Mm. 
Alright, you mix that for light. Alright, time to continue mixing that and uh, there's a few more chocolate chips left and I have some. I'll have one first. I, you have to remember with the chocolate chip, you have to use semi-sweet. Because if you use sweet chocolate chip, sometimes it's just too overwhelmingly sweet. Especially when you put in the banana, then you put in the syrup. So, semi-sweet chocolate chips. They can put in more syrup. They can put in more syrup. Or uh, they can put in a banana. It's very sweet later on. And keep on mixing. You have to really like mix it really well. So bro, when did you go to college? Uh, I went to Green Hills element Elementary and then high school. Uh, for college, I went to DLSU, Manila. Because it was like the natural thing to do. Everybody was going there, except all the smart guys went to Ateneo. I don't know why they did that, but yeah. So you're saying you're not smart? I was, I was like, I was no, I was lazy in high school because I, I really didn't study well. I did third honors. Yeah, no, but no, I, I wasn't, I wasn't that studious in, in high school. I would, uh, yeah, because I could take it. But in college, I, I was really like. I became a nerd in college because it was like the first time I got Dean's List. It's, this is like top 10 or honors. The first time I got Dean's List. It's like top 10 or honors, you know? Uh, you get an honors and it feels so good. And you have privilege. The privilege, if you're a Dean's Lister, is that, is that you, uh, you can be absent and you can be late as much as you want. <laughs> oh boy, I want to do this all the time. So I made sure I was always in the Dean's List in college. So bro, what course did you take uh, in college? The course I took was the one I said, I hate math. So I'm not going to take a course that has math. So I made sure my course was no math. And my course was religious education. It's like religion. And then I realized, that's not my course for religion. Lang. So I took another one at the same time, it was psychology. So I had two courses in college. It was religious education and, and bachelor of arts in psychology. So at least I had a semi-serious course. I think we're done. Is it? No, it needs a little bit more mixing. Uh, Alright, we're about ready to fry now. And, uh, you have to heat up the pan a little and just put a little butter or oil on the pan. Not too much, you're not really frying it, but you just have to make sure that the pan's well lubricated. How high is the heat up? You can go to low or medium. I, I prefer medium because it's easier to control and bring it down if it gets too hot. Uh, Alright, Sam, uh, here's the ladle. You can put it enough. Just enough. Is it like about pancakes? Appetizing when they're in a, like a dish. Yeah, that's uh, it's, that's why it's called ultimate pancake. It's like it's really meant for a crispy. How do you make it into a perfect circle? Well, it's the way you put it into the pan, as Sam's going to show us. Just put it in carefully because it's going to go as a circle. You think. See, it just naturally goes into a circle, and you kind of have to control it. Being a brother. Uh, well, you know, uh, you as a brother, you have to transfer from one place to another. So you spend like three years in one place, in one school, you really get to love the school, you get to love the students, you get to love your fellow teachers, and then after three years, somebody's gonna tell you, uh, brother, you have to transfer to a new school. Then you have to transfer, and then you have to start all over again. So that's kind of hard for me. But you have to transfer schools. Well, maybe because there's so few of us brothers here in the Philippines. And I guess it would be nice if we could be a brother to more students all over the Philippines. So do you wear this uniform <laughs> Uniform. Everywhere. Yeah, well, we call this the habit or the robe. Uh, it's black. 
because it's the official color is black and what we wear white here in the Philippines because it's uh, it's hot. I don't really wear it all the time. I wear it for special occasions. I wear the white robe for I wear the white robe for class when I teach. What subject do you teach? Well, I used to teach high school in my previous assignment, which is in Bacolod, St. Joseph's School of Sal. Uh, I would teach social science and religion. But now that I'm teaching college, I'm also teaching, well, I'm teaching general psychology, so I finally get to use my course. And I'm also teaching religion. I'm, by the way, I'm teaching at De La Salle University Las Marinas, and I'm teaching also at De La Salle Health Sciences Institute. How long does the band take? You see, it's kind of solid already, and when it's a bit solid, you just transfer it to play and start with the next one. really started to form in the entire pancake. So you see the bubbles, then you flip it. Because if you flip it too early, you're just going to destroy the pancake. How are the other brothers of the sun? What do you mean, how are the other brothers? Because they're like older than you and some of them. Yeah, some of them. Are you referring to Brother Dennis? <laughs> no. Oh my god, they're going to tell you to Brother <laughs> Dennis. Brother Dennis. Oh, brother Gus! Brother Gus is is uh, brother's brother. He's he's like a saint. And this is the first time I'm actually living in community with brother Gus, and he's such a good he's such a good brother. I think it's just so fortunate to have brother Gus. And here's a brother Gus story. You know, uh, when I get older, maybe I I hope I want to be like him because he. For example, I have help you. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Brother Gus prays at night. Not many of you know this, but like during 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock at night, he goes off to the chapel and he prays by himself. Imagine he spends the whole day at work and late at night he goes to the chapel to pray. That's that's a saint. Imagine. I'm not like that. I want to be like that someday. Except for chapel time. Well, we have a chapel in the house, so yeah, it works there. Hey bro, the pancakes are starting to smell good. I think we yeah. should call the team now. That's a good idea. Let's let's have breakfast. The probably pancakes. Yeah. Guys, come here. Wait. Pancakes. Pancakes for breakfast. Guys, come here. <laughs> 